Alrighty, this video is for number five. All right, I'm gonna open up Math 161, exam one practice problems. So we did number one. We also did number four. And I think the, we also did number 11. Okay, so those videos are available. And I'm gonna go and do number, number five now. Number five, here it is, here it is. Okay, so if the graph of the function f is defined by f of x equals square root of um, we have x minus five, 3 inside uh, the square root. And then we have this, what, plus 3 outside. So let me just talk about what's going on on this graph, f of x. So this graph is a square root, gra a square root function graph. Uh, got shifted up 3 units, up 3 units from the, ver uh, from the origin. And then the subtracting 3 inside. Move the graph right three units. So that's what's going on with this f of x so far. But it says that this graph is getting what? Translated vertically mm -hmm. downward by five I units. Five minutes. Noah, wait. It's <laughs> translated vertically downward by five units. So we'll, we'll do that. And then another one is, is uh, horizontally two units to the left. So I'm going to add a couple more things to this f of x or subtract to get this new graph g. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. So g of x is equal to, I'm going to draw my square root and I'll write down x minus 3 inside and plus 3 outside. That's the original f of x, right? But I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more, th more things to it, okay? So first of all, downward by 5. Downward by five. One minute. Downward by five units. That's going to be subtracting five outside. So subtract five outside, right next to that plus three. And the next one, horizontally, two units to the left. Two units to the left. So that's going to be adding two inside the square root. Sorry guys, this, this little kindergartner is following me around the house. Noah, will you stay right here? Huh. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify this. We're gonna simplify this. So g of x equals uh -oh. square uh -oh. root of Who do Jack go say? x Who do Jack go minus one. And then outside is going to be x minus two. Okay, I'm not x minus two, just minus two. So we got it. Now we're going to go ahead and graph this by plotting at least three points. At least three points. Now the first point for me though, the first point for me, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I know that this graph will start down two, at down two, down two. And then what does this do? Minus one inside. That's going to move the graph um, right one. So let me go ahead and plot that first starting point of this square root function graph. Uh, down two and right one. Here is where this function is going to start. Okay, here's where this function is going to start. So let me plot at least three points. So I got the first point here. The first order pair is one for the x value, two for the y value, uh, negative two for the y value. So I'm gonna say one, negative two. Uh, the next one, let me just plug in 2 to see what I get. Um, g of 2 is equal to oh, oh, square root of mom, 2 minus mom, 1 inside fingers. minus 1 equals square root of 1 minus 2. And that is 1 minus 2. So that is negative 1. Let me plot 2, negative 1 right there. I just need one more point. But remember, uh, square root... Um, See, if I plug in 3 into x, I'm not going to get such a nice number back. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is make a perfect square uh, make a perfect square to appear in the ra as, a, as a radicand. So if you take a look, g of x is square root of x minus 1, right? Let's see. Uh, what's another perfect square? Let me list a couple of perfect squares. Perfect squares are like um, 4, 9, and... 9, I may, I may do these, these two then. So if I want this inside to be 4, what does x have to be? 
Okay, if I want x minus 1 to be 4, then I need x to be 5, right? So I'm going to plug in 5. 5 is my other number. So if I plug in x g of 5, my dog is eating my son's pizza. So he got upset. All right, if I plug in 5 in there, I will get 5 minus 1 minus 2. That's going to be square root of 4 minus 2. That is 2 minus 2, therefore 0. So if you plug in 5 into the function, you will get 0. So 5 to the right, 0 off. Guys, that is enough point. But if you want to plug in another one, I am so sorry. I am recording this on a uh, Friday afternoon. And you know, with COVID and everything, kindergartners are doing kindergarten at home. So this little boy's home. But all right, that is how you would do number five. So um, I'm going to try to record the other ones that you emailed me about. Um, I may be a little distracted, but um, I'll try because I know you guys are taking your exam um, um, like this Saturday and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So I want to really definitely post something up there for you. Okay. All right. Here is that 